Hi, I'm Karen Friedman. Let's think of delivering a great speech as an acronym using the word SPEAK, S-P-E-A-K. It's a really easy way to remember five key points that will help you ace your talks and presentations. Let's start with S. S stands for simple. Just because you're talking to colleagues doesn't mean they get it. It's up to you to tell them why they should care, and you have to do that by focusing on what's in it for them. What's the benefit of the product or the service that you're talking about? What can they do with this information? And how will this information improve their lives? P. P is for practice. It doesn't matter how good you are, you need to practice as often as possible, and you should be doing it out loud. The more you practice, the easier it will be to internalize and not memorize. This way, you're having a conversation that sounds natural and effortless. E. E is for examples. Examples and short stories put information into context for listeners. Examples also humanizes your message and makes it far more interesting than just spouting off a bunch of facts. Stories and examples are engaging. They also increase attention and retention. A. A means audience. All audiences are not created equal. Think about who you're talking to in advance so you can tailor your remarks and examples to address their concerns. K. K is for keepers. What keywords or phrases do you want your audience to remember? You know, the late Steve Jobs was great at this. He would say things like, quote, internet in your pocket, or quote, this device will change the world. If you could sum up your talk in just one line, how can you deliver your message in a way that sticks? Finally, lose the jargon. The words that are thrown around the office place but don't really mean anything to anyone else. Keep it clear, simple, and to the point. Until next time, I'm Karen Friedman.